in the top of the mountains, at an elevation of 3,000 to 4,300 meters, or 14,000 feet, lies the landlocked country of Tibet, boasting the highest mountains in the world. The Himalayas are not really comparable to any other mountain range. They are incredibly high, to the point that you have to be acclimatized for thinner air as you climb up. Many people have tried to climb Mount Everest. Many succeeded, but some had to give up or, or they died in the process. Man, I like the mountains here in Oregon better. More wildlife to shoot and less problems with snow. That's true, <laughs> Yeah, Oregon is nothing compared to the Himalaya. They believe in chakras, which came from northern India. They developed Buddhist schools in the centuries of 700 to 1400 AD. They have a huge palace of the, in the city of Lhasa. And many Buddhist teachers and students have proven to have achieved some form of inner peace or enlightenment. And they often believe that they have been reincarnated from previous lives as animals or other people. Sounds a bit strange to me. Just because you're not used to it. Well, of course I'm not used to it. Maybe you should try meditation sometime, shorty. Me? I got better things to do, like skinning that deer I shot. Or brewing the rabbits, or cutting the intestines in a little bits and pieces. Ugh, you are so... Disgusting. Hey, man's gotta eat, lady. First of all, so do women. Women have to eat too. And second, many Buddhists are strictly vegetarian because they respect animal life. Haha, <laughs> I don't think you could be a Buddhist just for that reason, shorty. I guess not. Not that I care. Himalayan art can also include regions and countries such as Bhutan, Nepal, Ladakh, and Kashmir. One of the mediums of art that stands out as being typical is the Tibetan Buddhist statue. Embellished with colors, patterns, and ornaments, it represents an object of worship and reverence to the Buddhists. Did you know that women are generally considered incomplete and have to transform into a man? during the reincarnation cycle to reach nirvana. Wait, what? I don't know if they use the word inferior, but in a general sense, no matter how respectful Buddhists are usually towards women, a woman's body is not considered fit for enlightenment or even become like Buddha. What? Really? That's so sexist. Call it what you want, <laughs> but that's what a lot of them believe. Wow, I didn't know that. Like, really? Really? Yes, haha. <laughs> you seem flabbergasted. I am. I think I find my desire to become a Buddhist greatly diminished. Ha! <laughs> Something you didn't like, found out about it, huh? That's funny. Hee ha! Oh, shut up, you. Tibet and other Himalayan nations have had a long history of art, and their unique style has contributed to mankind's originality and aestheticism. Excuse me, you said it again. Said what? You said mankind, and you didn't mention the women. Well, according to Buddhists, a man is complete. So in this context, it automatically includes women. Get off my back, will you? Oh, come on! 